Hello and welcome back to Gaming Bolt, and today we're going to be looking at Atelier Liddy and Sue, the Alchemist and the Mysterious Paintings. Atelier Liddy and Sue, the Alchemist and the Mysterious Paintings, which I shall henceforth refer to as Atelier Liddy and Sue, because seriously, who comes up with these names, is a charming, sweet JRPG that fans of the genre looking for something more laid back can enjoy and should look into. The game doesn't actually stray too far from the 18 other games in the highly prolific franchise, but that's for a reason. The Atelier games have settled into an easygoing routine and formula by now, and they're comfortable in just staying in their niche. As such, if the previous games were up your alley, so will this new one be. If the older games fail to win you over, Liddy and Sue won't convert you. The story is as low stakes as the previous titles in the series. Liddy and Sue are twin sisters who live with their father in the capital city of their kingdom, running an atelier. However, the girls are inexperienced, and their father, who seems to be the eccentric artist type, isn't too much better, and their atelier isn't doing all that well. The girls mostly have to fend for themselves, including making and managing money and feeding themselves, but they harbor a hope to have the best atelier in the kingdom, a hope founded in a promise they made to their mother, whose whereabouts are currently unknown. The story unfolds from there along two convergent paths. One is when their government institutes an atelier ranking system to invite more alchemists to it, which causes the girls to start making efforts to get better at what they do. The other is when they discover they can escape into paintings. Inside these paintings, they conveniently find more materials that they can use for their alchemy to achieve great results that otherwise seem to be out of their reach. The story here, as you may have realized by now, is quite different from other RPGs, or really any other story in games. Rather than focusing on a central conflict where you have to come of age and save the world or overcome some obstacle, this is a breezy and relaxed title that keeps things mostly stress-free. It's a cheerful world with likable characters and it even acts as a stress buster after, say, a particularly intense bout of, say, Fortnite or Monster Hunter. As for these characters, they are, very largely, tropes. Liddy is the older twin who is meek, submissive, and doesn't like confrontation, while Sue is the younger one who is vivacious, tomboyish, and mischievous. Apart from that, you have the absent-minded father who can't get his life together, the young prodigy, the childhood rival, and so on and so forth. The characters never truly grow beyond these archetypes, which can get grating, but at the very least I can say that the tropes are done well. As long as you don't hate stereotypes by definition, you might even like what's here for what it is. The gameplay for the title here is similarly breezy and casual. You have turn-based battles where you can use your standard attacks or skills with wrinkles thrown in thanks to a positioning system. This is where characters in battle pair up, with the front character acting as a wall and the back character acting as a support. It never actually gets too complicated, and the enemies never pose much of a challenge. Really, the game's battles are in keeping with the easygoing nature of the rest of it all, but battles make for a nice change of pace, with slightly more engagement required than most of the rest of the game. Other gameplay elements include alchemy, which involves gathering materials in the world and then throwing them together in a minigame to craft items, completing quests, managing your time, because as a slice-of-life game, Atelier Lydia and Sue has a constant clock going on, and everything you do costs you time. Again, managing time never gets as stressful as it can in something like Persona, but it is an element to be mindful of. All these elements come together to create a rather open-ended experience, giving players the option to decide how their story unfolds. In fact, there are even multiple ending paths in the story, depending on what you emphasize the most in your playthrough, which can potentially lead to more replayability. This apart, the game looks fine, although it's a fair bit blurry, and graphics never go beyond looking at merely acceptable, with voice acting that I honestly did not find too good. Now, it's in Japanese, there's no option for English voices, so I might not be the best judge, but I've played a fair few games with Japanese voices previously, and none of them have ever graded on me like Atelier Liddy and Sue did, because it sounds so stereotypically anime. The actual localization isn't the best either, and I spotted some sentences that were oddly constructed. But again, in a game like this, that is just splitting hairs. On the other hand, the music here was probably the best of the presentation elements. Again, it's not spectacular, it's not even very good, most of it is fairly generic, but what it is, is catchy, and for some tunes that you'll be listening to for hours on end, that's probably the best we can hope for, outside of demanding actually great music. Atelier Liddy and Sue is not a great game. I would hesitate to even necessarily call it a good one by conventional definitions, to be honest. What it mostly is, is video game comfort food. There is nothing it does particularly well, and you know there are loads of alternatives to it that are better in most regards, but there's something soothing and comforting about booting this up and just engaging in a low-stakes, stress-free story for some hours on end every day. 
Given how many incredible JRPGs the PS4 already has, this wouldn't even be near the top of my recommendations for the genre on the platform. But if you're looking for a nice, sweet game to relax with, you could do far worse than Atelier Liddy and Sue, The Alchemist, and The Mysterious Paintings. That'll be it for this video. If you like what we're doing, please go ahead and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.